Hey beauties and cuties, hey cuties and beauties, it's your girl Monty's Life featuring beauty. Yes, we got another Black Friday shot, Miss A. Hall, and it was a hot mess since so many of you beauties and cuties decided to order from Shop Miss A. It took mine to get here in a long period of time, but that's okay because it's here. I opened it in a fit of rage because it has something that I was so excited to receive. So, let's get into this haul. Yeah, I got everything. It was a small little package in a turquoise bag. I thought they was going to send me a box, but they sent me a bag. But that's okay, because I checked through everything, as usual. And I didn't want to go through, you know, unwrapping on camera, because that takes too long. But, if you do not know what Shop Miss A is, it's a $1 beauty stop shop with everything on there. I will leave a link down below in the description box. And um, if you choose to, you know, you can watch some hauls that I, you know, got going on. Even if you want to, subscribe to my channel. If you like, if you love hauls, subscribe. Because even though I may not post a lot, but I do haul a lot. Alright, let's get into it. Alright, I got me another massager. Yes, Rebel, I got me another massager. But this one is for a friend of mine. I have a pink one for myself, so she likes blue. So I got her the blue one. And I hope that they do restock these because I do want the hair massagers. And I wouldn't mind another one of these just in case if my pink one breaks. And I love how the, the little teeth on here, they do rotate so they're not irritating your skin and pulling and tugging. All you got to do is add some elbow grease and some oil and you're good to go. All right. And a lot of this stuff that I hauled did get sold out. So, I do apologize. I'm so sorry, beauties and cuties. But, um, I'm going to try to go through the accessories first. If I can ever get it open. Got a cute little pair of earrings right here. You know, they love having the resin earrings. And, I don't know if you can see that at all. Oh, can you see it? It's pink and it's blue and... Um, I thought I found a headband to go with it, but it's in here, and I'm going to show you why this haul was, like, kind of a hot mess, other than the shipping, which, yeah, and I bought me some tissue, because every time I wear makeup, uh, my face don't like makeup, but I do, um, every time, I forgot what I was going, I'm so sorry, guys, but, um, I, oh, yeah, other than the mailing time, in which I do understand when they do have big sales, it's going to take a minute for stuff to get to you, but... You know, you know how impatient us Americans are. And um, got some more earrings. And then this was another thing. The stuff, I'm going to show you after I show you all the accessories. Um, what they had packed my accessories. It must have been somebody that's new to packing and shipping at Miss A. But look at these gorgeous beauties right here. Oh, and they do, and if I'm not mistaken, I think they got the, um, just the round ones, and these are like a lever back earring. I really don't care for this style to put in your ear because it, it's quite irritating, but I'm going, I'm going to try it. And they are just cute little danglies. Beautiful, beautiful. You know, and if, if you bougie like that, I bet you nobody would even know the difference. If you had on a pair of one dollar earrings or a pair of thousand dollar earrings, cause the way that the stones are cut in those earrings. Mm -mm 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 -mm. All right, up next, I got I found some nice thick kundudu hoops, but I was like, I thought it was gonna be solid all the way around. Let me see if I could take these off right quick. I don't know if you can see inside; it's hollow on the inside, and I thought. The thickness would go all the way around, but it's okay. It's okay. I'll still wear them anyway. Okay. <laughs> and um, I got a set of three pairs of hoops. They have, as you can see, it's rose gold, silver, and the regular gold. Just some tiny hoops. I'm thinking about getting maybe two or three more piercings in my ear. I don't know. We're going to see how that goes. All right. And also got, I don't know if I should take these out. Can I just show these? Here they are just the same as the uh, blue resin earrings. I got them in pink. I, I don't know if these are, I think these are all sold out, but they might still have some available. Not sure. And I also got the beautiful crystal 
earrings in the silver. And I got, I'm about, I'm going to put these on since I don't have any earrings on. And even though, yes, I know I did a cool toned eye and lip and I'm wearing warm colors. But you know what? In makeup and fashion, you make up your own rules, okay? Don't let nobody tell you, you too young to wear this. Well, well no, wait, 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 let me go. You're too old to wear something. I mean, me personally, I ain't going to be going out in tube tops and, and mini skirts. But there are certain things that if I like it, I'm going to buy it and I'm going to wear it. Okay? Just like they say, oh, don't wear white after Labor Day. But now everybody wearing white after Labor Day. It don't make no sense. Just like they tell you one year, oh, eggs are horrible for you. Then the next year they want to tell you, oh, eggs is the best thing for you. Live how you, live how you want to live. Just, just live it, you know, peacefully and all that. Now, I always have a problem with this whole... Because I don't wear earrings every day. So you know how the skin wants to grow back. Let's... And sometimes I have to re-pierce it. Why are you giving me such trouble? It's slightly uncomfortable, but it's not that bad. Don't mind my face. I know the post. I can feel it trying to go through. Hold on, y'all. I'll be right back. Okay, 10 million years later, I got a bit. Lord, I don't know what's I don't know what's wrong with you, but yeah. Well, there's those, and I also got another pair of like glamour studs. I call them. These are in the shade purple, and uh, I know they still have these available because I found these last pair of earrings. Like way in the back, like I go through, I try to go through the back sometimes, because sometimes you can find some hidden treasure, some hidden treasure on Shop Miss A, if you go like to their last pages. I mean, I do love, you know, stalking the new arrivals and trying to get them, but I also go back through their old things to see what I could possibly have missed. And these, I was like, ooh, 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 yeah, I know, I, I'm, I've fallen in love with pearls. And you know, you already know I love shiny things, but I believe that this is like the perfect length for a dangle earring. Now, I am not going to lie, these do have some weight to them. So, if you don't like a heavy earring, they may not be for you, but there's the back to them, so it's not just a fish hook. You do have a post and backing to them. <laughs> All right, um, I could not resist. Yes, Rebel. <laughs> I seen you peep, you peep these two. I could not resist these. <coughs> Sorry, <yeah. coughs> um, these do not have the wires in them in order to like if you want to fold and shape them and make them look cute. They're just like floppy, um, scrunchies, but they are so soft. I swear, I wish I could sew all of these together and make a blanket or a robe or something. That's probably what Cruella could have did. Okay, instead of trying to get to the puppies. Y'all should know I have attention deficit disorder. My mind just goes here, there, and everywhere. But, you know, it's a fun time over here, so why not subscribe? <laughs> Alright, here's another one. This, is, this was the black and white pair. This was the multi pair. And I just loved this one. But I don't know what's happened to your other ear, baby. You got like a Nemo side over here. You got the Nemo ear, but... Maybe I can untie it and fix it. I hope so. And these right here. This little cutie boo right here. Sorry, y'all. Um, I was so glad I picked this up because it did sell out. I have never had this type of beauty tool before. But it may look dangerous, but it's not. I got the lash comb. You know, like to get out the clumps of mascara or what have you in your lashes. Maybe it even might help to clean glue. But it does fold in for um, travel purposes. This is a nice little firm brush if you need to like brush your eyebrows. Okay. I do hope I, they should restock this because I believe that could come in handy. I know some people don't like a lot of clump mascara. That would be perfect for you to comb it out. Okay. 
Oh, that goes, that goes with that. Um, and then, y'all know me and my chokers. Since I ain't got nobody to choke me. Sorry, you know, I mean, to offend nobody, but, you know, um, everyone, everyone got a little freak in them. But, um, this is a, a three-layer choker, and I believe, yes, it is three individual, um, necklaces. Because some of the layered necklaces, they're, you know, they are chained together. But you can wear this set separately. And, you know, I had to get it in a gold. It would help if you turn it around. I got it in gold. Um, I also found these little silver hoops. Now, I tried this on because I have ordered earrings similar to this with a, with a post like that wide. And to me, my, my holes are not big enough. Maybe I need to stretch them a little bit more. But that that's not very comfortable to me. So, probably within due time, I might endure the pain and have them stretch in order to fit a new. No. But I did get two headbands. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? That is so pretty. Uh, you know, great. I believe this would be great for all seasons. Summer, fall, spring. Probably not winter, but, you know, I, it's just got all those beautiful tropical sunsetty colors in it. Oh, I had to pick that up. Now, we're going to put you back there for now. Now, beauties and cuties. What had made me mad was... When I ordered this next hairband, I thought it would go with this earring. Because what they had posted was, you know, it would match this. Now, y'all tell me. I was mad. I mean, I'm still wearing it. I'm still, you know, floss it, you know, you know. But um, where the pink at? I thought it was going to have pink in it. And it wasn't a random choice either. But that is, you know, my little rant. And I'll get over it. But the star of the show, yes, beauties and cuties. Y'all know I could have not resisted not getting their holiday special limited edition palettes. I've only got two, and I might have FOMO for not purchasing the other one. But hopefully, maybe they might restock. But I did get the self-made palette. And I do enjoy these palettes. There you go. Just go to the color. Oh, sorry, y'all. I'm glad that that folds back. It's just a plastic covering. And we got more plastic. Now, I had to check and make sure that these were okay. I thought somebody was coming in. I had to check and make sure that these were okay because it's like my, this order had got lost. First they said your order was shipped, and then they said it left the Texas distri Distribution Center. Then the next thing I knew it was in New Jersey. Then, look at that. Then it said um, that it was going to be a delay for 24 to 48 hours, and then I just got this package this Friday. You know, so I'm, I am very thankful that it did make it to me. You know, and maybe I won't order um, during, like, I'm lying to myself. I know I'm going to order during Black Friday. But it got to me, so that's what counts. And I was looking for my little wiper doodles. Because I do want to do some swatches. I did see, um, you know, um, a, a, a YouTuber by the name of Dianette Santos. She has done two looks with this self-made palette so far. And I was like, oh, I was like, oh, I can't wait to get mine. So I got some wipes. Um, you know, I don't know which ones I'm going to swatch. I don't know which ones I'm going to swatch. You know, I may have to try, you know, some of them yellows and some shimmers and stuff like that. Um, but what I am going to do is I'm going to. I'm going to swatch this one up here, this beautiful copper color. They are nice and soft. Oh, oh that's pretty. That's pretty. Pretty. Ooh, that kind of reminds me of orange juice in the Jawbreaker palette. And, um, oh, what, the next, um, color I'm going to swatch, I'm going to swatch the mint color. That's over this charcoal gray. I mean, they are soft, but they, I mean, 
see they're just a touch, a tad chalky. Oh, okay, Miss A. Okay. Um, you know, I'm going to try to swatch some of the blues and that dark charcoal gray color and that yellow. Let's see here. We're going to do the charcoal gray, this yellow over here, and probably another shimmer, probably, I don't know. Let's see. Let's go in with this blue first, the blue. There's, oh, Lord. Um, this yellow up here. Okay. And this charcoal, it, or is it black? Because it looks charcoal, but... It's, it's probably like a dusty black. Not completely matte black, but a dusty black. Okay, let's see. Oh. Oh, oh I'm going to have so much fun playing this palette. Wow. How is it? And I got it at the um, Black Friday price. So it was $7.50, but they, these, that palette is still available. It's $10. Now, come on now. You cannot deny that pigmentation. Did I say I, was, I think I'm gonna do that shimmer in the top row? Oh, it is gonna stain. That blue is going to stain. But that's okay. We can deal with it. Okay. <laughs> so far, so good. Okay, I'm just drying it off on my pants. I forgot to um, grab a paper towel. So it's still going to be slightly damp. <laughs> Thought I was going to say the M word. I ain't going to do that to you. But this this shimmer right up here, which is in the top row. Oh, but... We, we, we live and kicking. <laughs> but um, that shade right next to it, I'm loving that one too. That looks like um, their lipstick that's coconut and their satin lipsticks. But this is a beautiful silvery champagne-y taupe. We're just going to put that one up over. <gasps> oh, Miss A, everything I was mad about, I ain't mad about it no more. I ain't mad about it no more. All right, so that is the self-made palette. If there's anything else you guys want me to swatch, let me know. I think I, I, I know. I hear you. I hear you. I hear you, beauties and cuties. I hear you. That green right there, right? You want me to swatch that? I know you do. Well, hot there. Hot there. Hot there. We're going to put that one right there. We're going to put that one right there. Oh, yes. And I even, you know how some people swatch and look like they're taking their whole skin with them? I, I just barely have to press and I'm sorry I have a hangnail I forgot to clip it that's horrible I hate seeing hangnails and I hate hangnails but I forgot to clip it y'all sorry all right so uh, there's uh, that a beautiful palette yes you gotta do some looks with you baby self-made self-made palette get up get a hold of them before they do stop selling them forever and I did see that they brought back um I believe they brought back all four of their palettes from last year. And I was going to pick up the ones that I didn't get because I only have the colorful one, which was Immersed, and the um, Ultra Neutral palette, which was which is Bare. I was thinking about getting um, XOXO and Vanity, but I feel that I really don't need them. I know. Oh, sorry, y'all. But I feel like Vanity is calling my name. Sorry. With all those deep purples in it. So, but I don't know. I don't know, beauties and cuties. I don't know. I got. I only got but so much time to order them because I know they'll probably take them um, out of stock soon. And the other palette I got, boom, was the, oh, thank you, was the Violets Are Blue palette. And when I seen this gorgeous palette, now, first of all, I'm sorry, I'm moving too fast. Look at that gorgeous packaging right there. Isn't that a beautiful? And I love the feel of the palette. It's just like a velvety plastic. And 
there are the shades but you know I'm gonna do some swatches and uh, take that off and put that over there then uh, that the back look at that mm. now when I seen this palette I know if, if you know what palettes I got this palette reminds me of the bluebird palette especially this top row up here you know not the whole thing but even though some neutral colors I believe that are in the bluebird palette look like they're in here too but I was like I just seen this palette and it, it completely intrigued me and now looking at it I I don't know it looks like this this blue was in that other one in the self-made palette let's take a gonda shall we see that blue they almost look the same hmm. but it's okay because it's a beautiful blue so I know if I run out of one or the other I will have it but um let's do a few swatches you know I gotta see what this lilac color is about this purple up here um, we're gonna do a, a transition neutral color down here and I got one finger left. Let's dig into this pink. Sorry, that pink right there. Okay. Let's start up here. And like I said, I barely put any pressure. Like, that's a little sheer, but I'm sure it's buildable. And like I said, I'm not trying to rub my skin off. Now, that would be a great setting, you know, but that's a beautiful baby lilac color this is that transitional color oh beautiful warm brown or orange or whatever color you see is what you see but that'll be a great uh, transition shade and here's that beautiful like fuchsia pink I am gonna rub a little bit harder because that that color is very sheer let me rub that first color just a little bit harder See, you will get payoff. Oh, okay. Miss A. Okay. Miss A. Oh, oh, okay. All right. I did want to swatch um, this copper color that's down below. You could do so many looks with this. These palettes. Damn, Miss A. Y'all done did it again. Um, we're gonna swatch this one right here and I'm gonna swatch that like bluish gray periwinkle up there and let's get dig into this olive taupey green right oh that one is super soft and um, I'll just dig it to this little shimmer right over here oh all right here go that copper I'm so sorry for the sniffles guys but there's that. Oh, I did not expect that to be more peachy. I thought it was going to be a nice, but that's still a beautiful shade. Here's that blue. Okay. And here's that taupey olive. Okay. Yes. And oh, maybe that shade is in the other palette too, but. That's that beautiful champagne -y beige color. But on my skin tone, you're probably going to see it as silver and my lighting. But guess what, beauties and cuties? That is the end of this haul. And it was short but sweet, but that was my Black Friday haul. And I do have another haul in my room. And I'm waiting for them to ship my other order that I ordered on December 6th. That has not been shipped out yet. So, fingers crossed for that one. But I did also order a ring light. So hopefully, you know, that will come in in one piece and not broken so that I can show you guys, you know, true colors and better content and what have you. But if you like what you see, as always, like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you always for growing with me and glowing with me. Have a blessed day, not a stressed day. And I'll see you in the next episode. You know I love you guys. Later.